at Limehouse tonight and you may remember I did a short here recently. Uh, I'll put the card up in the corner. Got a lot of activity here so came back with more than just ghost tube to see if I can get even more activity. I've already got the EMF meter going here and uh, I don't know. It's a nice windy night in the forest so we'll get some, some nice effects from the wind anyway. Maybe a little bit of rain and maybe an animal over that way. I don't know. I just heard something in the leaves. So let's uh, set up some stuff, see what happens. Let's go. Okay, here in the pitch dark, good old infrared camera. And uh, as is often the case, Andre's behind the, the camera in the dark here. The forest is pitch black, which is fantastic. I have my EMF meter here. I'm going to bring out trusty ghost tube. Make sure all other apps on my phone are closed. I've got ghost tube happening. Let's get the EMF meter on ghost tube. And you know what? Let's turn my phone sideways so I can get this angle. And of course, there's a train going by. And the train is making a lot of noise. Other than the train, is there anyone here who would like to say hello? You can communicate with me either by making the device in my hand light up, or I have another device in my other hand that can make words. We're here at Limehouse at what I believe to be a storage place for explosives. That's my understanding of what this is anyway. Built in 1850. And we're going to get a loud train going by because the tracks actually aren't too far from here. Leave me alone. And you said leave me alone. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn up the volume on my phone. We, we don't want to leave you alone. We'd like to chat. I mean, if you really, really want us to leave, that, then tell us again to leave. Otherwise, it would just be great to, uh, to chat with you. Can you make the device in my hand light up, please? Or say some more words through the other device. Hopefully being down in the forest, we don't get too much wind hitting the mic. Guide. Guide. Are you a guide? Does my voice echo in here? Echo. Let me check something. So the metal bars don't make the magnetometer go off. And they certainly don't impact the EMF meter at all. Okay, let's, uh, let's end this off because you clearly don't want to communicate this way. Play. Oh, you want to play? Well, that's interesting. What do you want to play? We can set up some other devices that might help you communicate. Would you like it if we did that? Let's try that and see what happens. We'll, uh, we'll get the spirit box out for a little bit and try that. What we'll try now is simply putting the spirit box in frame here and we'll just leave the spirit box running in front of this with the volume up and scanning through AM frequencies. Let's, uh, we'll have a chat with it and see what happens. Let's try that. So 
I am away from the spirit box. It's on the ground. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. just because I am a little bit away from it. But I want to give space and allow for you to communicate. Can you say hello or give us a name? I thought I heard a name there. Can you say it again? How many of you are there? Is it you playing with the volume, making it go louder and quieter? My name is Brian. Uh, the other guy here is Andre. Can you tell us your name? Is it you making noises off in the woods? Or is that animals? That's weird. It almost sounded like it said that to us and I got chills. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I think we're going to try a different thing now. Hopefully you can communicate with us that way. Okay, so we've turned away from the uh, the armor armory thing, explosives house. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. Um, but there's all these nice rocks here. We're going to do a Vox session. I've also got the EMF meter still going. So I'm going to get Vox happening here. And I will record the EMF meter through Vox. Let's reverse the camera. Okay. Vox is recording. Yes, yes it is. Was it you making the lights light up? Can you do it again? Can you make the lights on the device in my hand light up again? Back and forth my phone. I don't think it was my phone. You saw that though, right? I just saw the green. Yeah. So. That was weird. Can you do it again? Can you make the lights on this device light up again? Oh. I have to go into Vox and... All right. I have to reactivate my uh, my purchases. Can you talk to us now? Did I switch Ghost Tube apps? Wow, you flashed again. Even though my phone is further away. Oops. Done. Okay, back in business. Again, if we bring you close to my phone, you go off. But when you're down here, my phone shouldn't be impacting the EMF at all. So, 
talk to me through the device in my hand. You're making a lot of lights light up there. I almost want to put this further away. Okay. It's now a good four feet away. Can you make it light up now? Or was it just my phone making it light up? Sounded like I said I was. <laughs> so, make it light up again, if you can, please. That sounded like it said I'm a ghost. <laughs> if you are a ghost and you're here, we'd love to chat with you. Can you make the lights light up one more time, please? It might be hard for you, so I appreciate any effort you're making. And if you can do it, please do. Okay, I think we're gonna try, just for effect and to experiment, we'll try turning off the lights and doing this with the infrared camera as well. So I'm gonna stop the Vox recording there and I'm going to hand the infrared to Andre. All right. Let's go lights out and do this in the dark. And see if it makes a difference. You'll see on the recording, I'm shooting down again at the, the EMF meter, so you'll see the lights go out. Another train. So there we go. We are now lights out. All we can see is the EMF meter on the ground. And Andre has the infrared camera pointed at me. Now that the lights are out and you don't have to be shy, can you make the lights light up on the device on the ground? It's always fun being in the woods when it's pitch black. Pitch black, okay. There we go, people. Pitch black. And you just hear every little sound around you. Fox has got a lot more active since we turned the lights off, though. It's weird how that happens. So do the spirits just like to talk more in the dark? I would think it wouldn't matter, but... And I recorded a, a short today that I had a lot of activity, and that was during the day. You may have already watched it from the uh, abandoned asylum type building. Uh, not getting anything on the EMF meter though. Okay, I'm going to switch apps here quickly. Go into the ghost tube app selector and SLS won't give me anything. Let's go ghost tube and I'll flip the camera so that it's Pardon. looking pardoned. Flip the camera, there we go. So we're looking at the EMF. That's that green light down there. It's about four feet below. Still got the infrared running. Stroke. Sacrifice. Were there sacrifices in these woods at some point in time? Andre and I are really nice guys. We just want to chat. Mm -hmm. Hospital. Hospital? I mean, if there were where accidents, I'm right here in the dark. Where are you? Just really love 
to say hi to you. Figure out who you are and learn a little bit about you. Okay, I think we will end off this. Uh, maybe try one more thing. I'm going to hold the spirit box around the side of this thing. Again, I don't know what it is, but it's very solid. The walls are very thick. But we're going to shut the lights out again because we seem to get a lot more activity out of at least Vox when the lights were out. So let's try lights out with the spirit box. And I'm just going to stand here and uh, chat with you. So we'll go lights out and we'll cut to the infrared camera and we'll get the uh, spirit box happening here. One, two, and three. And now the only light on me is infrared. Let's get the spirit box volume up. Doing AM sweeps. Oh. You turned up the volume a lot there. If you're here and you'd like to talk to us, please let us know who you are. Maybe come back in the winter and build a little fire to keep warm. hang out with you by the fire. So I'm thinking if this was used to store explosives, you probably didn't want to have fire by it. So maybe by having a small fire here at some point in the winter so it's easier to make sure we don't burn anything down. Just a very small fire to keep us warm too. I'm guessing Andre will probably be here with me because, yet again, I can't get rid of the guy. <laughs> he had fire. Uh, yeah, I had him at fire. Maybe we'll bring some some meat and we'll oh, yes. cook it over the open fire and we'll we'll do one of Andre's videos while we're here trying to communicate with spirits. I'll think of something on skewers. Nice. There we go. So if you're here, please say hello. The device has gone quieter. Oh, now it's going louder. And I'm not adjusting the volume. Should we stay or should we go? It sounded like it said stay. All right, I think we'll end that off and uh, carry on to, uh, maybe we'll do a clip down by the waterfall and then we'll wrap this up. Let's go. By the waterfall. Brian. Ghost Tube just said Brian. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. It Ghost Tube said Brian. That's awesome. Wrong spelling, but it said Brian. Um, anyway, by the waterfall. So we're going to have to contend with that noise, obviously. But I do want to do a little bit of ghost tube here. I'm already getting Brian. Um, there are theories that water can hold a lot of spiritual energy to a place. This is water. So let's see, uh, see what happens. I'm just going to record a little bit with ghost tube here. Let's turn it on its side so I can use the ghost tube clip in the video. Uh, if you happen to see the silhouette of a person back that way, that's just Andre, he's over by the camera. So I've got ghost tube running. I'm going to keep it, the speakers on my phone close to the mic though. Just so that if it does say something, you can hopefully hear it at home and we'll see the words pop up on the screen. It just said above. What's above? Is there an animal up there? 
Andre's got his flashlight up in the tree. Let's look above. I don't see any eyes. What's yeah. above? Do not. Too late, we already did. <laughs> Can you say anything else to me? Can you give me your name or was your name Brian too? Which would be really neat. Okay. Uh, I said no. You said no. So are you done then? If you're done, that's okay. Just tell me you're done and we'll pack up and get out of here and stop bothering you. But if you'd like to chat, we'd love to stick around and chat for a bit. You're going to go quiet now? That's okay. All right, let's finish off this clip and we'll close out the video. Let's go. There you have it. Visit to Limehouse. Andre just hanging out behind the camera. Just help, hanging out and helping out tonight. Make sure you check out his food channel because he's still doing that. And uh, hopefully I'll show up in his food channel soon. We'll get, uh, get some collabs going back and forth because we like working together. Anyway, I got this awesome lime, lime kiln here behind me. And we are done our short investigation at Limehouse. I will be back. Um, as discussed early in the video, maybe Andre and I will do something here in the winter with a little bit of fire by the explosives place. See what happens. Really weird. Anyway, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know on Sundays when these videos go live. Every Sunday, 8 o'clock, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Let's find something.